What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought I would get another one of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny boxes to open up and see if we can get some evil heroes? I don't know. I've seen a lot of unboxings on this set and, and uh, pack openings and stuff too, and a lot of people are having trouble getting the new fusion for evil heroes. Uh, Malicious, I believe is his name, and uh, yeah, I think even Jobber opened up a case, and I think he only got one. Yeah, out of the whole case, which is just insane. That should not happen. Like, seriously, I don't understand why it's so short-printed. little ridiculous if you ask me on that, but uh, let's see if we can get one. I'm stupid enough to keep trying. <laughs> and, of course, it even says Evil Hero's Revenge. So this is going to be my revenge, basically. So share your energy with me. Let's see if we can get one. Also, there's a lot of gimmick puppet cards I want to get from this because I've been testing them out a lot. I've been talking about it on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter, by the way. I guess, you know, <laughs> throw a plug out there on that. Uh, but it is a lot of fun to uh, play gimmick puppets lately. So I want to get some of those new support. They're even getting more support and was it Cal's Impact, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, it's been kind of fun just using them again because I remember using gimmick puppets back in the day in the Zexel era. So... Yeah, let's hope to get some of uh, some of that support too. Some of the spirits, then a dark sanctuary. Get quite a few of those. <laughs> it being a rare, I notice I have like a stack of them from my uh, first unboxing. Well, there's one the gimmick puppets, at least the common ones. Oh, there we go. All right, that's a good hollow to start off with. Uh, we have the Preda Plant, uh, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Preda Plant. That's what I always want to call it. I don't know how you say its name. I'm, I'm not gonna try. I know people are nice enough to try to have the pronunciations and everything. There's no way I'll say it right. Okay, I, I just know. <laughs> so it, it is one of the better cards though, for sure to get. Definitely worth uh, picking up, especially if you're using super polarization, like I said before. And yeah, like I said, you you want to get one of those basically. And then also the Earthbound Giant. But yeah, that's like one of the best cards of the set. Might be technically the most competitive of the set. Let's see, what else? Well, another gimmick puppet. Then we have Supreme King's Castle. I still have all my gold rare gimmick puppets from back in the day. Because that's what they were all like originally in. I just need the, the new cards, basically. Then, oh, thought we had something on that one. Uh, we have Starring Venom. That's a good reprint, too. I know it's had quite a few reprints lately, but if you still don't have one, that is also a good target for Super Polymerization. There you go. You don't really have a reason for not having one, then, for sure. Then uh, we have Sentence of Doom. There we go. One of Bakura's new cards. I still think that one's pretty cool. It's, it still looks like Dark Necrofear is a DJ or something to me. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of every time. I, I, I guess I'm just twisted or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Give it Puppet Terror, baby, as well. No, that's twisted. Now, that's a scary card. It's actually funny I'm even using gimmick puppets because uh, they kind of creep me out a bit, but they are fun to use. Oh, here we go. Here's a, I actually got a place it. I think now. We got one of the Evil Heroes. It's Evil Hero Sinister uh, Necrom. Well, there we go. From first box, I actually got two of these from the box. So it was kind of funny, and I have three now. So it, it is a good one to get. It's unfortunately, though, I don't think it's as tough to get as the others. So we still have to hunt down those. So our revenge isn't over. Uh, Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. Hope to at least get one of each of them or something because it's like the evil captain gold and of course like i said the fusion and evil mind at least i've already gotten some good hollows that's for sure well focus okay there it goes <laughs> then we have predator planning i was going too fast for my camera i guess All right, Dark Fusion. Then uh, Perform Puppet. I think I might have needed one of those, so <laughs> that'll come in handy. That was kind of a rare, I don't think I got many of. Dark Calling. Then Starving Venom, yeah. <laughs> Again, if you don't have one yet, you have no reason to not have one. Gotta at least trade for that or something. Then, oh man, I thought it was a hollow gimmick puppet. Another one of Star Venom, by the way. Yeah, I could tell it was a gimmick puppet. I was just hoping it was, uh, I guess, Bisk Doll is like the one I need to place it of. Which is, I think, a super rare. So, hopefully, not too tough. Then, oh, I saw Fusion that time. Dang, Terror Baby. 
Yeah, they do that on purpose with this set for sure, too. <laughs> they put those cards right there. Trying to mess with us. Then printed planning. Another one of those. Okay, we've gone a while without a hollow, so I'm hoping we're about to get a, a really good one now. That's that's the sign. We'll see. And well, I guess it's uh, one only, you know, I only had one of these so far. It is uh, one of the other Prada plants. Again, this is one I will not try to say the name of because there's no way I'm going to say it right. Again, like I said, I think in the in the other opening, I think if I try to say it, I'll like cast a spell and demons will appear or something. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I can't take that kind of responsibility, okay? So we're just going to say it's a cool Prada plant super rare. <laughs> That's its name now, okay. <laughs> and Supreme King's Castle. I can't be responsible, though, for opening up some kind of portal. Right. Oh, thought for some reason on that one. Evil Mind. Come on, let's get malicious. Because uh, he's a bit pricey. Oh. Ah. A lot of evil heroes. Dark Sanctuary. I'm still going to try to do an Evil Hero deck profile. If I can get all the cards. I don't really want to spend a lot, though, to get a bunch of the fusion. Oh man. I thought it was Captain Gold for some reason on that one. Uh, Earthbound Greater Line Walker. You know what? It's still an Ultra Rare. It's cool. And I do like the Earthbound support, but I don't know if I'm going to build anything with them. It is cool they got something, though, I will say. And then a uh, Print of Prime Fusion. That's like a tongue twister. It's at least an Ultra Rare for us, though. I'll take it. Moon Dragon. Oh, focus. There we go. And oh, I thought maybe it was a, a double of the super rare. Then perform puppet. They keep getting me. I need to just expect nothing, and then I'll get what I need. We'll see. That's what we'll do. Frontal Gainer. And, okay, I'll take one of these. One of Bakura's cards. Uh, Dark Spirit of Malice. I think these are pretty cool. I like the artworks to them as well. So, not bad. And then, of course, Earthbound Giant. I'd like to try them out, at least for fun. I don't know if they are very good or what, but uh, they look cool. So, yeah, that's Bakura's card, so sure. And uh, there's another Ultra Rare for us. Okay, this one is, uh, uh, how you say this one? Eskator, um Dawn Walker. Okay, I couldn't read it through the camera. But there we go. That's one of the ones that uh, make it so you get an instant um, Sun Dragon. So... Again, I think these are pretty cool. I think Moon Dragon's also an Ultra Rare, so I wouldn't mind picking some of those up for that reason. I like Sun and Moon Dragon, but again, they just have such a big weakness. You can just uh, call by the grave and uh, there it goes. <laughs> Your combo doesn't work too well then. Let's see, Gimmick Puppet. Sun Dragon, hey, there you go. And then Dark Sanctuary. Unfortunately, not any of the tougher to get cards yet. I don't know. Could be a bad sign. Spring King Castle. You can see a lot of doubles on rares and stuff, so I don't think I have to name them off too many. Too many more, you know. <laughs> you probably have memorized as well. And then Preda Prime. All right. Heart of the Cards. Help me out here. Let's get something cool. Then, oh man, for all those like gimmick puppets right there, I was really hoping for Bisk Doll. There's Terror Baby. Yeah, it's another level 8. Makes it a lot easier to go for some of the gimmick puppets, too. Then, well, okay, that is what I needed, too. Uh, we have a gimmick puppet uh, Gigantis Doll. Well, there we go. <laughs> that is actually really awesome. This card is actually pretty scary, too. What it can do is that uh, whatever you summon and everything, you can take two of your opponent's monsters by detaching both the materials, of course, and then you contribute this monster and make it so the monsters you took from your opponent are level 8, and then use them as part of an XC summon to go for, like, a gimmick puppet uh, of strings or giant grinder or giant killer or whatever. I, I forget which one's the, the English name. But anyway, uh, yeah, he makes it much easier to do that. And it's kind of funny to just take two of your opponent's strong monsters and, like, like, oh, those are mine now, and use them to exceed summon. So it's actually a really good card. Downside is, though, if they use a lot of link summoning and stuff, it could be more of a problem, but I guess you could still use them, uh, too. So either way, still pretty cool. And then uh, Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. Just with all the different forms of summoning, that can sometimes be kind of a, a problem. But yeah, most of the time, it works out really well. It's always funny to take some of your opponent's monsters. 
And, oh man, really? I actually got another one of him. Again, I thought it was uh, Captain Gold or, you know, the evil version. I don't remember his name. Uh, but we got another one of Necrom. Well, at least one of the evil heroes likes me. Seriously, what in the world? <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I guess that's still good to get, but uh, not really the one I'm looking for, unfortunately. Oh, well. He's still pretty cool. But, dang, I really thought it was Captain Gold that time. Let's see, Zoma Spirit Man. Camera's just not on to focus right now. And Starving Venom. We have about eh, a quarter of the box left, so I wonder what else we can get. Hopefully we still have some good luck. I have no idea what to expect. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I thought it was a hollow one. I thought it was a gimmick puppet. So that's actually one of the cards I need. It is a gimmick puppet bisque doll. This is one that's just uh, easy to get on your side of the field, level 8. I see someone with it. I mean, it, it's pretty simple. I do like, too, how this one, Terror Baby, how they're still useful in the graveyard, too, because they can help protect your gimmick puppets and stuff, make sure their effects activate and all that. So, uh, yeah, this is actually a really good card from this set. It's just, unfortunately, it is terrifying. It's uh, freaking Annabelle in card form. So it, it, it creeps me out. Oh, I'm just going to do this because I'm sick of the, the box messing up. So, <laughs> I'm just going to get all the packs out like that. But yeah, they still terrify me. Oh, that was a down card. Random. I was hoping maybe that was a good sign. At least I'm still getting a bunch of cards I want from this set. It's just not evil hero was. Well, there we go. There's another ultra rare. Um... Trying to remember if we got this already. I'm not sure, but yeah, it is a Dark Spirit's uh, Mastery. That's pretty cool looking. It's another one of Bakura's cards. I think we might have got that from our first box. I don't remember it too well. But yeah, it's at least another Ultra. Again, I'm just bummed out that the Evil Heroes are so tough to get. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Gotta admit, I'm pretty disappointed how they did this set for that reason. I mean, I like this set, you know, for the cards that are in it, but they shouldn't be this tough to get. It's a little ridiculous. I understand cards being a little tougher to get, but not to this extreme. Especially when you get a case and only get one of the fusion. No, nah, that shouldn't happen. Then, yeah, print a planning. Maybe they'll print, when they print more of these, it'll be better. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. But uh, I still want to get my evil heroes either way. We have a uh, Earthbound uh, Geoglyph. Uh, I don't... No, if I've gotten that one yet either. So, it's another Earthbound card. Makes me want to build them still. I don't know. If I happen to have everything, maybe I can throw something together at least for fun. Because I do want to try them out. That's how Legendary Duelist gets me. Predator Prime, Predator Prime Fusion. Blah. <laughs> but yeah, with Legendary Duelist, I, I see all these nostalgic cards and everything, and it gets me every time. I'm like, I want to build everything. I don't know if it does that to you guys. Then, oh, I thought maybe we were maybe going to get a double of Bisco. I could use one more. And then uh, Dark Sanctuary. And now we're down to our last pack. I have no idea if we've gotten all the hollows already, so can we end with hollow? <laughs> Let's see. Can we end with an evil hero, even? I would like an evil hero or, or Bisco doll, honestly. I mean, both of those would help me out quite a bit. Let's see. And, ah, oh, unfortunately not. Uh, but we did get Evil Minds. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, I mean, I did get a lot of cards I was wanting from this set, but just not the evil heroes were missing, you know, the, the short printed ones, I guess. Necrom, though, I mean, he's okay with me. He likes me. <laughs> I'll take that at least. Uh, we got a lot of similar hollows that we got from our first box, actually, on that. I mean, we got double Necrom, which I still think is funny. We got the Fusion 2 right out of the gate. That's really good. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think I'm only missing one Abyss stall, and I think then I have everything for gimmick puppets, uh, besides just looking through some of my commons and, and stuff for some uh, cards I'm missing because I'm still testing out the deck, and I gotta admit, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I will have a gimmick puppet deck profile at some point, and I'm actually going to YCS Dallas and Fort Worth, and uh, I'll still have some videos for you guys uh, while I'm gone. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm pretty nervous, but I'm also looking forward to it. I mean, it's my first YCS, so maybe we can go to more of in the future. I don't know. We'll see how all this goes. But yeah, hope to see you guys there. Of course, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that stuff too, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.